What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just sharing my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, we're going thrifting yet again, but I've discovered a new little small thrift store when I drove a different way. And so we're gonna go in there. It looks pretty small and it's like in a really interesting part of town, so I'm not sure if it'll be good or not, but sometimes those are hidden gems. I also kind of want to go to Salvation Army, which I haven't been to in a very long time, and depending on how much steam ever it has, uh, we'll see how many other thrift stores we get to go to. So this is our first time being here. We kind of drove by it one time, and already we've got some interesting things going on. Because is there life after death? trespass here and find, and find out, out. <laughs> so oh we'll keep you posted on what happens in here <laughs> hopefully sign find some cool random stuff i'm Are not you? i'm not really thinking they aren't gonna have very many cute clothes over here but maybe like housewares because outside they got some like funky looking things I already see a camping stove, which we may Ooh. be in the market for. What are those stools right there? The the cushions are ugly, but the rattan is cute. Those are super cute chairs, Everett. Okay, these cushions have got to go. Oh, they're gonna fall apart. Never mind. A Starbucks thing? What the hell is that? Hello. Roxy. What is that? I'm not sure. An Irana shirt. Wasn't that much in there, especially clothes. I feel like it was more of like random house goods. We're gonna move on to Salvation Army. Let's go. Let's roll. Here we are at Salvation Army. I haven't been here in honestly like six months, eight months. It's been a long time. And they have rearranged. Wow. All right. Dresses, tank tops, capris, and skirts are a dollar. I saw this cute little purse. I think I'm gonna leave it, but I figured I'd just show you guys. I love the handle on it. It's so cute. But I don't need any more bags right now. It's interesting. And then I'm pretty sure it says the dresses were dollars. So these are the ones that I grabbed to like look through. I have to make sure that that's, I read it correctly. guys I ended up finding actually quite a bit of stuff in there I found a lot of stuff for my closets a few like little cute flowery shirts a few little dresses um I think like one or two pairs of jeans two skirts quite a bit of stuff and I only spent $33 so I'm so excited that I went in there like now I'm gonna start having to go there again I kind of like forgot I don't know why I haven't been going there for the last like few months but I am now at Goodwill. I just dropped off Everett and we are about to head into Goodwill. Let's see what we can find. I'm also loving this new mask that I got from Forever 21. So much more comfortable than my old one. And like, I don't know. I just think it's cuter too. The parking lot looks pretty empty, which is a good sign that it won't be too busy in here at the moment. Hopefully it'll be just a chill, relaxed day. For dresses, I just found two. I found this cute little one from Billabong. It's kind of like a wrap in the front. It has that little cutout in the center. Oh, it's actually a romper. And then it has a bell sleeve, which I think is really cute, just the print. And then I also found this uh, Roxy. Is it Roxy? Yeah, Roxy little like jumper overall dress. Super cute. Those are the only things I found in dresses. I 
found this really nice brown belt for Everett. It's a fossil belt. I don't know if it'll. I don't know if it'll fit him, but it looks nice. And then I also found this belt. Five dollars. That's a yes. Super cute. This one's cute too, but the metal is kind of like tarnished, so I'm gonna put this one back, but I wish it was just all gold. These might be cute chopped into biker shorts, but I feel like they look a little big. Let's see what side they are. We'll see. I also kind of like this, like there's sweats with the big USA like patch on them. It's interesting. All right guys, here's my cart. There's kind of a long line for the waiting room, so I don't think I'm gonna try anything on today. I'm just gonna go through and choose what I want and what I'm putting away. I'm obviously finding a lot of very like 70s prints, I feel like. Very interesting choices that I've made today. I'm obviously in a specific mood. I could be in here for longer. I've probably been in here for like an hour and a half, but Everett is dying, so I gotta go. <laughs> he is ready to leave, so I made my final selections and we'll see how much we spent. Hey guys, so we are back from the thrift store and I am excited to show you guys everything that I ended up getting at the Salvation Army and the Goodwill that day. Like I always say, I'm gonna try to be fast and not talk too much about each item and I figure I will just go through and like try on each item and show you guys what I'm talking about with each piece because I did that for my last Shein haul and I felt like it worked really well and was just like easy for me. I could explain to you guys what it was I was thinking about it while it was on. I ended up finding three different belts. I'll go with the most exciting one first which is this one right here it is a fake dupe of a Louis Vuitton belt um, it doesn't feel like it is real leather but I did really like the style I think that this style is more of the men's belt but I am going to wear it just because Everett's not really like into this kind of style and I thought it would look cute with like cream beige brown sweaters in the fall time so I did end up just making a smaller punch further down in the belt I have a little like hole punch that I got off of Amazon that just punches holes in belts if you have belts that are like the wrong size for you guys it's come in handy so so much between Everett and I and it was four dollars and fifty cents. I love finding dupes at the thrift store that are cheap. I also ended up finding this cute little belt too. I showed you guys this one was $3.49. It's much smaller um, but it is real leather and it just has like a beautiful braid on there. I love the style. This one's small so I feel like I will wear it at the waist. Not actually on my belt loops, but just for kind of like dresses and things that I want to cinch in at the waist. And then this last one is a men's fossil belt. I picked this up for Everett, but it's actually not the right size for him. It says it's a 36, which he normally wears a 36. I don't know. So I might end up listing this on my Poshmark Depop closets. Maybe I'll just put it in his closet and see if he ends up wearing it. And if not, I'll list it. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was a really nice quality belt and he likes leather belts as well. Next up is this cute little top. Super basic, but I really liked that it was like very thin and I end up wearing a lot of my basic clothes a lot more than like really like frilly or fancy things, especially when I'm just lounging around the house or doing errands or like, you know, just chilling and I know no one's gonna see me. So yeah, this one's from American Eagle Outfitters. Here it is on. I just really like how lightweight it is. Very, very thin. And I like that it's a cropped size so I can kind of like tuck it into my shorts if I want to, or if I just want to leave it with a high-waisted pair of shorts or jeans. Super easy, very comfortable. Not much to say about this other than I like it. Moving on into this, lately I feel like I've been really into like more button downs, which isn't normal for me, or like I haven't been into button downs in the past, but I've been buying quite a lot lately, maybe getting ready for fall. And I think that they just pair over a little basic shirt like this so easily. So this one is from the brand 11 Stitch Design. Never heard of that, but I just really liked the stitching. It just has all of these different like stripes and then on the pocket, the stripes go a different way. Sorry it's all wrinkly, you guys. I didn't steam this yet. 
Once I've steamed it, I would just wear it like this. I just like that it is neutral and I don't know, just kind of basic and easy to throw on. Oh, this one is so cute. I love this. This might be one of my favorite things from this haul. It is just this Victoria Beckham little button up. I actually ended up chopping this one off and washing it already. Didn't like how long it was. It was super, super long and I probably just realistically wouldn't have worn it if it was that long. So yeah, I just took a little chop chop to the bottom and made it a raw hem. But you guys, it has bees on it. If you guys are new here, bees are like my thing. They're like my logo on all of my YouTube stuff and just have like a special significance to me in general. I kind of want to get a bee tattoo actually. So yeah, here it is on. It's kind of similar to that last little button up except for this one is just a little bit more cropped. And I just think it's so cute and comfortable and casual and I love the bees. I'm so glad that I found this one. So cute! All right, you guys, next up is this little top. It's like a pretty little button-up blouse right here. The brand is actually cut out of it. I hate when that happens. It's such a bummer, but I thought it would look really, really cute with a little bandeau underneath, so let's try this one on. All right, you guys, I just buttoned it once, but you can button it all the way up or down. I just decided to put one button on. But I just love how cute and girly this is. It's very feminine, very lightweight, very good for hot summer weather just because it is so thin. I like that it has the different print kind of like right in the center to break up these little pieces and it just has ruffles all over it. Very girly, very fun, super, super cute. <laughs> okay, this next one, I don't know why, but when I was there in the thrift store, I was feeling like very 70s, kind of like inspired 70s patterns and mood and colors. So I found this little top right here. It's originally from the brand Levi's and this is in a size large and it just has like all these funky little flowers on it they're kind of like bubbly and I don't know something about this print definitely looked very 70s to me so I thought it would be very cute to pick up I'm honestly not sure if this is a pajama top or if it is a button-up actually I also found this little Lottie Moss like scrunched what's it called ruched ruched I think uh, shirt right here and I would just pair that underneath this so let's try these guys on and see how it looks together hopefully it looks cute I feel like it would but let's see I should have steamed all of these before doing the haul, you guys. I'm sorry, everything is very wrinkly. Um, but here is the cute little top over the little yellow ruched top. It definitely brings out the yellow and the green in the top. And I just love that look lately, just the button down with a cute little small crop top underneath. I feel like it's so comfortable and just kind of like airy. I love this 70s little print and I have more 70s print coming up later in the haul. <laughs> Next up is this really interesting green velvet oversized button up. This one is from Bloomingdale's and I just love that color of green. I know a lot of people have really been into green lately. Funny story about this top, I've actually seen it at the thrift store before and I didn't end up picking it up. And then later I was actually kind of bummed and I looked for it again and I couldn't find it. So when I saw the shirt again, I was like, yes, I'm definitely getting it this time. And I am really excited to have this just because it's such a funky item. You guys know I'm really into neutrals, but lately I've been getting like a little bit crazy with my outfits with wearing color. I'm getting a little bit more used to it or like more comfortable with wearing color or like inspired to wear color. So here it is right here. Right now I just have a little sports bra under, but honestly I would probably wear like a little white crop top underneath this if I was gonna style it to wear out of the house. I love it so much. I just think it's so cute and unique. I'm all about buying pieces these days that just elevate my wardrobe and are different in my wardrobe because I have so many clothes, so I want things that are very different these days, and this definitely adds a little element of something funky and different into my wardrobe. So yeah, love this piece. Definitely will be keeping it for the fall time and see how much wear I get out of it. Speaking of more 70s print, I found this little shirt right here. It is from Forever 21. And it's just this like very interesting 70s type pattern, very funky. Obviously very different than what I normally buy. Like I said, I've been getting into so many more weird button ups. I actually saw this shirt when I was at the mall in Las Vegas like almost a year ago, probably a little bit more than a year ago. And I really liked it, but I didn't end up purchasing it just because I felt like I didn't need it. So it's funny that I've got it now because I have actually seen this shirt before. And that's really interesting at Forever 21 because they have so much stuff there, you guys. I feel like I'm shocked that I ever found it again, to be honest. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind that I'm trying everything on with my little sports bra. So here is the funky 
little 70s top. I could definitely wear it like this or I could tie it up like this with a pair of maybe like black jeans or white jeans. Something a little bit more neutral than the blue. I personally don't like it with the blue. I just like it so much. It's just like so funky and fun and different. So I decided to grab it. Moving on to this funky little skirt right here. It's just kind of like that. What's it called? Not pleather. Is it called vinyl or forget if this is called vinyl or if it's called something else. I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> but yeah, it's just kind of like this fake leather, like spandexy, funky little material right here. This one does have a zipper in the back and it is a little bit longer. I actually have a few of these skirts already, but they're mini skirts and I never wear them because I don't know, I just don't like mini skirts. I actually would wear it with this top. All right guys, I hope you guys can see. Here is the skirt on. I actually do really, really like it. It's maybe not something that I would wear in my closet like a bunch of times. So I'll probably just wear it one or two times on maybe like a vacation or something special and then end up listing it on my closet. I love the color, super cute. And it's actually not as uncomfortable as I thought it was gonna be. Like I thought it was gonna be super tight and like hard to walk in, but it's actually pretty decently comfortable and I would wear it with this little top. I think that this is a super cute little outfit if I was to wear like a vintage black purse with this. I don't know. Moving on to this little sweater. It is from Forever 21. Just a little cropped sweater with this brown and like navy blue little stripes. I love this color. I like this funky little like vibe that it has going on. I don't know, there's something about it that really drew me in. Okay, here is the sweater right here. I probably wouldn't wear it with this skirt, but you know, I would just wear it with a pair of jeans or even like a pair of leggings in the winter time or in the fall time. I'm into this. It's kind of like a basic piece, but you guys know me. I'm basic. Oh, I would probably wear this sweater with these. So I haven't tried these on. I hope they fit me. If they don't, I'll list them. But they're a pair of Lee jeans. I've been trying to find a pair of Lee jeans for so long. They're just like such a good vintage brand. Like so many different good vintage jeans I feel like are Lee. My friend Ari has a cute pair of Lee shorts whenever she wears them. I love them. And so yeah, I've been on the hunt for a pair of Lee jeans. I don't remember if I got these in the women's or men's. I think I actually got these in the men's at the Salvation Army. So let's pop these puppies on. All right, I know you can't see the full length jean, but they are super cute. I like them a lot. They're very like mom jean-esque. They fit me pretty good. I like that they're a little bit loose so that they're nice and comfortable. So cute, so excited to have these in my collection. They're pretty blue. I wish they were a little bit more of like a gray blue, but I love them so much. And honestly, they've hit me right at the ankle at the perfect spot. Like I said, I'm sorry you guys can't see the lens I have on this camera. You can't really get like a full shot of my body. Sorry, but we gotta work with what we got. <laughs> Anyways, these are super cute. Maybe I'll try to take a picture of them on my Instagram if you guys do wanna see. I'll take a little OTD wearing these jeans, but super comfortable, really cute. Hit me right at the right ankle. I found this beautiful skirt right here. This is definitely not something that I would wear just because it's like so crazy and funky, but I felt like there is somebody out there that would love this piece because it is so unique. I couldn't leave it behind at the thrift store. It's a 100% silk as well, which is awesome because 100% silk is expensive. <laughs> super fun and funky. It's very colorful. Then with like these almost like tribal Aztec print stripes within the rainbow stripes. So I already have this one listed up on my Poshmark Depop right here. Super cute, super fun. One of you guys needs this in their life, I swear. Next up, I found this really cute little romper right here. It is from the brand O'Neal. It's in a size extra small. I am listing this one on my Poshmark and Depop as well. But I thought it was really cute with the little patchwork detail. I love patchwork print. I just think it's very fun and funky. And I did like that it had this big pretty ruffle at the top right there that just made it very like feminine and cute. Same with these next two. I found this little vintage dress right here. Look at this vintage tag, guys from the brand Ripe. It's kind of like a deep blue floral print. I thought it was so cute. It is very flowy and just really nice for the summertime. So yeah, I picked up that little vintage floral piece. And this one was also very unique. It's kind of like almost a shiny, like, what do they call that? It's like very silky looking. It's not silk, but it looks 
very like silky on the texture tag right there another very vintage little guy this one is also very high at the neckline and not overly short i just thought it was such a classic little beautiful dress in the pattern too it does have like little floral blue roses i found these cute little jeans right here um they are from the brand the rock and rev and they had a ton of holes. I wasn't sure how they were gonna look because I couldn't try them on. I like a few holes, but sometimes when it's like too many holes, I just think it's like too much. So I actually think I am going to cut these into shorts. Let me show you guys. I know you can't see all that much, but here are the little pants right here. Like you guys can see a little bit. They just have like really, really big holes. I wish that more of the strings were attached so you couldn't see my legs as much. I feel like then it would be cute, but I don't know. Whenever it has these like gaping holes, I just think it looks bad in my opinion. So should I cut these ones into shorts or should I leave them? Or should I maybe try to like put a patch underneath? I don't know what to do you guys let me know in the comments down below your guys's ideas i was thinking to just cut them off right here at this top little hole and make them into shorts and wear them for the rest of summer i love how high-waisted they are and the actual jean themselves seem like pretty good quality of denim and like construction i think that they've just been worn a lot by whoever owned these previously maybe it is kind of like a fun grungy look that i could wear with like band tees for that kind of like rock and roll kind of feel which i've also been really into lately and have an upcoming video featuring my rock and roll obsession lately <laughs> i found this little skirt right here it is super cute it's from american eagle outfitters it has a button fly and it is denim it's in a size it is in a size six and i will be listing this on my closet as well because i already have a black denim skirt that i love so i figured one of you guys might want this so yeah and then this is the last little shorts right here. They are from the brand Bullhead Denim Co. And they are in a like just a little light blue kind of color. They are high-waisted. I'm pretty sure Bullhead is from PacSun, if I'm right. This is in the mom short style in the size one. Um, I thought I was gonna keep these for myself, but I realized that I have a pair of shorts that are like exactly like this from Brandy Mellow, I think they are. So I'm going to list these on my closet as well. Whew, all right guys, if you guys made it to the very end of the video, I wanna know, so comment down below what your favorite Starbucks drink is, or if you don't drink Starbucks, like what your favorite summer go-to drink has been lately. My favorite Starbucks order is an iced coffee, and then I also love their passion fruit tea is that what it's called the tazo tea so yeah all right you guys that is it thank you guys so so much for watching i love you guys so so much i hope you guys are doing really well and i'll see you very 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 soon in my next video bye bye